Welcome to Tantrum House Studio D. I'm Kevin Delp. And I'm Melissa Delp. Today we're looking at a prototype of Naga Raja. Naga Raja is a two-player tile placement hand management stick rolling game. It's designed by Theo Riviere and Bruno Catala. It's being published by Hurricane. It should be available sometime in the spring 2019. Players are exploring Indian temples to find relics and amulets. You're going to sacrifice cards from your hand to roll fate sticks in order to win the tiles that you place into your temple to create paths. You're looking for high point relics, but trying to avoid being cursed. Let's look at the prototype components. There are game boards, tiles, cards, fate sticks, tokens, and more. During setup, players receive a hand of cards and set up their temple by randomly placing face down relics. The goal of the game is to be the first to collect 25 points from relics and amulets. At the beginning of each round, you reveal one room tile that the players will compete for. The first player, called the guide, selects as many cards of the same type that they want, and the other player does the same, and then the cards are revealed. Players then roll the number of fate sticks shown on their cards. Each dot is worth one fate point, and each wavy line is a naga. Starting with the guide, if they have a naga, they can discard it to activate one card from their hand. Then the other player can as well. Play continues until both players have passed. The player with the most fate points wins the room. The other player becomes the guide and draws three cards, keeping two and giving one to their opponent. When you win a room tile, you must place it in your temple either touching one of the starting paths or another tile that has already been placed. If a path leads from one of the starting points to a relic, then you reveal the relic. If a starting path leads to an amulet, then you secretly look at it and can reveal it at any time in the game. They're either actions or points. Relics are valued from three to six points. If you reveal 25 points or more, you immediately win. But if you ever reveal all three of your cursed relics, then you immediately lose, no matter how many points you have. The game can also end if a player fills their game board with all nine tiles. In that case, the player with the most points is the winner. The gameplay is pretty fast, about 30 minutes, or maybe even less. There was one game where I got pretty lucky and found a bunch of those high point relics with only a few tile lays. I like rolling those fate sticks. They have different colors, the green, the whites, and the browns. They have different combinations of the fate points and the naga. If you lay several cards at once, then you can roll a bunch of those sticks. I like that there's a pretty good catch up mechanic in the game. The person who doesn't win the tile becomes the guide. And there's a lot of power in drawing those three cards and deciding who gets what. Not only that, you get two and your opponent only gets one. There are many different actions you can take from the cards. Some of them affect you, like adding more fate points to your roll or drawing more cards. Others can affect yourself or your opponent, like swapping tiles or inspecting relics. And then some are straight up attacks, like removing sticks from your opponent or discarding cards. Because the cards are multi-use, there's definitely some interesting decisions to make during the game. Do I play several of the same type together so I can roll a lot of those fate sticks? Or do I hold on to some of them for their actions? And then when I'm the guide, which ones do I keep and which ones do I give to my opponent? Maybe I have an attack card that's not really great for me, but if I give it to Kevin, he can use it against me. The illustrations are from my favorite artist, Vincent Dutre. He does a great job immersing players in the temple theme. And I love rolling those face sticks. They have a nice weight to them. We were able to meet one of the designers, Theo, at Gen Con, and had a great time learning the game from him. When we received the prototype, I did read through the rules, and I found them simple and easy to follow. This game is not complex, but it still offers some interesting choices to make. If you're looking for a two-player game that has tile placements, some multi-use cards, those cool fate sticks that you roll, then check out Naga Raja from Hurricane, being published sometime in 2019. Sorry, I was like, I feel like Kevin's going off the rails, <laughs> and it so distracted me. <laughs> you distracted me, Kevin. Are we distracting you? <laughs> if we're distracting you, go subscribe over there. No.
That's not distracting. Okay. 